What's good, Crown Family? Hope you're having a good day today. If not, I hope this video will bring a little light to your day. Today, ladies and gentlemen, we finna check out Casually Explain Introverts versus Extroverts. Now, me, I've been studying it, and I'm definitely an uh, introvert. So, let's, you know, see the difference. Let's get it. Now, I think there's a fair bit of misunderstanding around what an introvert or extrovert actually is. And while introverts are most often portrayed as being shy and awkward, and extroverts as being charismatic and sociable, it isn't always the case. To give an really? example, most people think that stand-up comedians are all super extroverted because they go on stage in front of a whole crowd. But in practice, most of their time is spent writing, not performing. Even someone as famous as Louis C.K. has called himself an introvert, despite the fact that he's performed in front of what? A dozen women? So what does being introverted or extroverted actually mean? And now this is actually facts, because I me, I perform in front of hundreds of people, and I'm an introvert. Uh, I think it's like uh, you have, everybody has their comfort place. Like, there are certain things we can do in front of a lot of people, and we can be okay, and it, it seems like we're extroverted. But, you know, I think it's just, you know, determined on the person. Let's get it up. A dozen women? So what does being introverted or extroverted actually mean? And the first thing is that you're not entirely one or the other. You're somewhere on a normal distribution or bell curve that runs from total introversion on one side to total extroversion on the other side, which means almost everyone is actually around the middle. You might have heard some people in this category call themselves ambiverted, but they're actually just average. Now, the simplest definition of the two extremes is that extroverts are energized by social interaction, while introverts are exhausted by it and prefer more time alone. Facts. The problem here is that it's easy to self-diagnose without comparing yourself to anyone, but it only really makes sense if you give a group of people a few dozen hypothetical situations and then rank order their responses relative to everyone else. So you're not way off at the end of the introvert spectrum just because you only rate your Uber driver five stars if he doesn't talk to you. <laughs> probably just on a different sort of spectrum. It'd probably be me. So without Please quizzing you on every detail of your life, what are the signs that you're more introverted or extroverted? So extroverts tend to have a lot of acquaintances while introverts don't. This is of course because extroverts tend to meet more people, but also because they're more likely to say, oh boy, I'm not doing anything on Sunday and I haven't seen Cindy for a month. I should ask her for coffee and I can see how her new job is going. Whereas an introvert is more likely to say, oh boy, I'm not doing anything on Sunday Extroverts experience facts. more positive emotion, or at least that is experience so positive emotion more intensely. This means they're more enthusiastic and excitable. This is interesting because if you take something like a concert and control for drugs and alcohol, the people near the front will tend to be more extroverted, while people who are more introverted back. will be further away from the yeah. stage. That's me. Like at home. Bro. So behaviorally, <laughs> Nah, but if I do go to a concert, I'm mostly in the back. Like, I'm chilling in the back. I, I got my, my Coca-Cola in my hand. <laughs> And I'm just chilling, ready to go home. <laughs> but yeah, man, this is this is facts, man. Cause like even now, like you're probably watching me, you think that I'm probably the most talkative person. But once I cut this camera off, I'm just I'm just here. <laughs> I'm in my head. Extroverts <laughs> might seem to act first and think later, but I think a better description would be that extroverts tend to experience more and reflect less, while introverts experience less and reflect more. In a way, you could say the biggest fear of an introvert is losing their hearing because then they couldn't listen, whereas the biggest fear of an extrovert would be losing their tongue because then they couldn't eat ass. Out. Wait, now, what? You might Bro? An extrovert would be losing their tongue because then they couldn't eat ass. Now, you might wonder if your degree of introversion or extroversion changes as you get older or if you're stuck how you are forever. And forever. for things like how much positive emotion you experience, it doesn't look like that changes much. However, some people make the argument that the things that happen to you during your life can change the way you process emotions. I don't know for sure, but anecdotally, I have never experienced much positive emotion since the big accident. Being conceived. Ultimately, it's no better right. or worse to be introverted or extroverted. I, well, I, I will say that I think it does changes. Um, I think my I think I was a, a a lot more worse when I was younger. Like I kind of got better with like socializing. I don't even know if that's the word. Uh, but <laughs> I got better with people the older I got. You know, I learned how to kind of force myself in certain situations. You know, of things that I might not like to do, and how to you know mingle and whatnot you know <laughs> but i'm still very introverted at heart very very introverted 
I'm always at home. Diverted. As long as your behavior really is a preference and what you're doing with your time is meaningful to you. With that said, some extroverts might socialize to avoid personal development and some introverts might like to have more friends than they do but are anxious or lack social skills. So whatever your disposition, you have to spend time with people and you have to spend time alone. So make sure you're not being avoidant or it can lead to some pretty big blind spots. For me, I remember back when Tinder first came out, my friends decided I had to go on at least one date just for the sake of it, because I didn't usually meet many new people. Yeah. Now the thing is, I didn't have much sexual experience at the time. I mean, I still don't, but I didn't then either. So when I got a match eventually, I asked them out to a movie because I like watching movies and I thought that's what a date was. Now, what I didn't realize was that when you're watching a movie, you don't really see or interact with the other person at all the whole time. So we were just sitting there with each other yeah. in complete darkness, not saying a word as we ate from our own bag of popcorn. That's like the worst first date you could probably eat. Not unless that person loves movies. And even then, it's like, that's probably the first wor the, the first worst date you can ever ask somebody out to the movies because it's like you're not really connecting. You don't get to know that person. You're just watching a movie. Not unless you like have dinner and stuff, I guess, afterwards or something like that. But I feel like that's like a second date or a third date type of thing. Then two and a half hours later, when the movie ended and the house lights came on, we looked at each other and said, good movie, huh? <laughs> yeah, pretty good. And that was the whole date. So, yeah. Five stars. Five stars? You did not give her five stars? What? It's not an Uber? What? <laughs> Bro, this was good, though. This is good, man. Like I said, man, um, shout out to all the introverts. Shout out to all the extroverts. You know, we're, we're you know. We're, we're here existing and stuff, you know, <laughs> existing. But me being an introvert, man, I definitely can relate to a lot of what he said, man. Like I said, I know a lot of people probably think because I do YouTube or because I make music and I perform in front of hundreds uh, that I'm extroverted. But no, when I get off that stage, I, I, I'm ready to go to the back and just be by myself or go home. <laughs> when I do YouTube, when I cut this camera off, I'm, I'm just sitting here in my head. Are talking to my best friend <laughs> but um and i think actually also being an introvert we also have that one person all of us have that one person that we literally talk their ear off i know it's kind of crazy it, it seems kind of weird like we can get a, around a group of people and we're just the quietest as a mouse but if we get around our person that's like our comfort zone we'll talk their ears off it's, it's i don't know i can't explain it <laughs> i can't explain it just how things are bro <laughs> <laughs> but yeah man uh hope y'all enjoyed my reaction video man stay tuned for more man shout out to this guy man casually explain original video link in the description and we out deuces